I don't know, there's a saying about this, something like you get uh, more with sugar than sour or something, I don't know. Hey everybody, we are back for a Covey update. I know folks, it's been a little while. If you've been following along with her progress, it was old dog, new tricks, and it's been, I looked right before this, 75 days since we posted her last video, which means after the last video, we talked about moving into formal retrieving work, and we are here. We have been working on her retrieving work now for just over two months, and she's finally broke through to the point of doing well, but still not there. This is what we talked about in the beginning of, yes, you can teach old dogs new tricks, but sometimes it takes longer. Now, the other side of this is it wraps up into an individual dog's personality, and that's a difficult thing for us to show you, because if you've been following along with any of our videos or any of our series, they're primarily short hairs or labs, and they fall into the category of lots of drive, lots of desire, lots of desire to work, and Covey falls into a category that's, I don't wanna say lacks desire, but definitely does lack the desire to do things that she doesn't want to, um, which is just a difference of personality. You take her out, she loves hunting, she loves finding birds, she was getting better at retrieving, but we need a way to be able to actually reinforce when she comes back, spits him halfway or something like that. When we finish this, we'll be able to say, Covey, no, go fetch that. And then over time, develop a dog that 100%, well, there's no such thing as 100%, but does an extremely good job of retrieving most of the time. And if she ever drops it, we can say, no, Cove, fetch. Now, she, like in her woe training, she looks fairly sad. She looks fairly dumpy. She's like, oh, this is not fun. I don't want to do this. And this is part of what's taken this process long, uh, a longer time. Most dogs are completely done back in the field in less than eight weeks. We are here north of that category and still working. I would say um, our goal is probably two to three weeks from here, she should be out. So we'll be in the category of close to three full months, which is about 30% more than the average dog. But all of that being said, you need to understand that if you're working with a dog that is struggling with things, understand that they're it's not necessarily you're doing it wrong or that they're broken, but it is just going to take a little bit longer. So where Covey is at in training, we are to the point where she has transitioned to collar conditioning to fetch. If you haven't seen already, you need to go back and you need to watch Legends series, okay? We did all of the videos, all of the steps. We start by walking and then working on hold and fetch and then collar conditioning fetch and we move through all of these different steps. I showed that step by step with Legend. He does a great job, excuse me, does a great job demonstrating the individual parts to explain where she's at. She is just starting collar conditioning to fetch and she does a pretty good job with that. One thing that you have to understand, we talk about in this process and you're gonna see these things, for the most part, we need to be fairly low key. We don't wanna overly excite the dog because they end up then causing more, it ends up causing more issues for them in the long run um, in a sense of they end up getting too excited and, and, and then having a mistake and then have to be kind of corrected in order to be able to maintain a good rep. With Covey, it's kind of the opposite in a lot of things where she really, really feeds off of the excitement. So if we can apply it at appropriate times, um, it makes a big difference. Now I'm doing all of this long-winded chit-chat to, uh, to begin with to fill you in and what's happened the last 60 plus days, um, but then there's gonna be a little bit less talking. Timing is very important, as well as the specific reps and cadence and timing of the reps, timing of the handle, timing of the praise. So I won't be able to do quite as much explaining or stopping to explain because it will really slow down the momentum that we build in her session. So I want you to just from here kind of watch, I'll explain if I can, but ultimately you're gonna see us work through um, 
hopefully good reps, but you're also gonna see some interesting tactics that I'll do my best to explain. Um, she is a freezer. Freezers are dogs that are going to lock up and try and just avoid whatever is happening and maybe it will go away, like they crawl into this little crumbly hole. And I would say that dogs with personalities that are more on the low key side of things or lacking a little bit of desire tend to fall into that freezing category. So movement is important. When we start her session, we get her warmed up by moving up and down the table. Then we move right into fetch work and the session itself is gonna be very quick. Um, her getting comfortable and realizing that everything that happens up here isn't necessarily crappy, um, but we wanna get some good reps and then end the session. So we're going to move forward into training. I'll show you what that is all about. And then afterward, I'll stop and explain kind of what happened as best as I can. Okay, good, we've got everything we need. Okay, come on, Cal. Good girl, so movement. You see a little happy tail in there, good girl, yeah. Movement's important with these dogs. Come on. Good dog. All right, so we're gonna move. We're gonna do a couple reps here. Like I said, we're making a transition to collar conditioning to fetch, but what that means is it is a transition. So we need this here, toe hitch. Watch the video with Legends to see more um, about that. We need her closer to us. And then we're going to start into one of her more sought after objects. Nope, right here. Here, cub, fetch, fetch, good. Using momentary stimulas, stimulation and then walking with her. Good, right here, fetch, fetch. Come on, come on, come on, fetch. Good girl, there you go, nice. Come on, fetch, fetch, no it's there. Fetch, good. Extremely light tug on that just as a reminder of pressure. Good girl. And this movement's gonna help keep her rolling. Fetch, good girl. No, hold. So that was almost too much excitement. Hold, good. Let's move down here again. Fetch, good. Cubby's level is about a three. No, hold, good. We may need this here in a second, but fetch, good. Good girl. And send her further distances. Fetch. And I need to build separation between her and I. Good. Hold. She has a soft mouth, which is a good thing, but we need to keep, make sure that that hold is good. Here. Come on. We need to make sure that that hold is still solid. Hold. Good. She should hold on to it until I take it from her. Good dog. Good. Fetch. Not needing this yet. Here. Good. Fetch. Moving one direction is easier in the beginning stages. Hold. But we need to work to be able to move both directions. So I'm going to try now. Fetch. 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 Come on, right here. Fetch. 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 Good. Here. Hold. Now, that was a great start. I want to break down just a couple things that are happening here. First of all, um, everything that you teach when you break this process down is like teaching, it, it's, it's a completely foreign language. Every single step it seems like with dogs. For example, she's moving this way on the table fantastically. We started all of this, but as soon as I turned around, it took extra, like, oh, I don't fetch anymore, even though I just did 12 in a row, right? Or how, whatever the number was. Um, what we're going to be doing next is working through a few different objects. They're gonna be new for her. That was easy, that was a warm up. These are all things that she's shown she knows how to do. Now we're gonna work into a couple different bumpers. Again, we have the toe hitch here because she's through that aspect of fetching as a gentle reminder. And sometimes folks, the pressure here will mean just as much as a reminder as actually having the pressure on her toes. It's just like, a, oh, hey, this tug has kind of become the pressure in itself. So we just need something here to be able to give a little tug moving forward. Now, this is going to be smaller steps we take. Um, we're gonna go from this to this. It's a little bigger around, but similar material. And then we can go back down to a smaller object. Afterward. Good. All right, Cove, come here. Fetch, come on, fetch, come on, fetch, fetch. Good, hold, good, right here. Movement's important, fetch, 
No. Fetch. Fetch. Good girl. Come on. This kind of keeps her in an upbeat momentum. Fetch. 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 No. Fetch. Good. You hear that? No. No, no, no. Here. Fetch. Fetch. Good. Come on. Let's try another one here. Right here. Cub. Fetch. No. Cub. Fetch. 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 Come on. Fetch. Fetch. Come on. This is that freeze category. We need to get her moving. Fetch. Hi. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fetch. Fetch. Cubby. Fetch. Come on. Fetch. 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 Yeah. I wish you hadn't fallen off, sir. Good. Fetch. Fetch. Good. Here. Come on. Good. Let's try again here. Fetch. Good dog. Much better. Here. Just that little reminder that there could be pressure down there is helping. Fetch. Good. I'm going to see if I can get my hand out of the way. Good. Fetch. Excellent. Here. Good. Good. Here. Again, moving all the same direction. Okay. All right. So I want to break down this and then I don't think we're going to move on to the next thing. Um, I may talk myself out of that here while I explain this, but we'll see. So ultimately here, we've moved through a couple different objects and this is the big part of where she's at. She's moving through multiple. She's showing 100% with collar pressure. She understands how to shut the collar off by grabbing the object. Fetch. She's excited about that ish. She's not horribly unexcited about it, but she is doing it. And then she decides, I don't want to fetch this one. And that is the thing that we're having to work past right now. And with Covey specifically, it's one of those things that I feel like for her, it's more a matter of don't want to than don't know how to. And some people will argue different opinions on this. Me, I'm more about a conditioning and teaching standpoint. Yes, there is some push involved that says, nah, you don't really have an option. But if I can, I don't know, there's a saying about this, something like you get uh, more with sugar than sour or something. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? There you go. You catch more with honey than with vinegar. And not that we're saying, thank you, by the way, not that we're saying you, we need to just baby her through this because she does need to understand that fetch is what we're doing. That's why we're here. But if we, if we don't make some silver linings here, then we're never going to get better. And she's just going to resent the process even more. So keeping sessions short, um, one thing that I'm probably guilty of, and all of you may be as well, is greedy training. And that's like, ah, she did so good. I'm pumped about this. I want to do some more because that was big progress. She did really well with the first bumper. She did okay with the next bumper. And we're on a big upward trend in her training. And that's why I wanted to be able to share this. It's like, all right, we've kind of ground through this, if you will, and it's taken a bit. Now we're to the point where we're seeing good progress. We've been able to work some birds in. We're, I mean, literally within a week or two, I'm gonna be able to put up a couple more videos here to show you some more progress. And then when we're back into the field, wrapping everything up, shooting birds over her before she's ready to go home. I think that that right there, Miss Cub, is gonna be it for today. I'm going to use my, uh, listen to my, my other half and my better judgment um, and not push this any farther. We're gonna make a quick spin. Movement is important with dogs that are freezers. So lots and lots of movement. You could see how that was upbeat. It was fairly fast paced. Fetch, 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 take a break. And then again, fetch, 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 take a break. In your sessions, as far as the work process, if you cut that out of the middle of this, it's a pretty short training session. And that's what, if you're working through formal retrieving, dog, uh, formal retrieving work with your dog, they're struggling a little bit. Um, the shorter the sessions, the better off you're going to be because it allows you to accomplish things without uh, setting them up for a situation where they're going to end up having more resentment or you end 
you basically you climb up a little ladder and then you kind of fall off the other side or you climb up the hill you fall off the other side and then you try and get back up to the same level and usually you never make it there so it becomes this game of you started here and then you end here instead of because you fell below that and had to work your way back to it where if we can build a little bit and leave it there they remember that and then we can build a little bit smaller steps you take the faster you're going to get there guys i'm the guy with the pink gun this is cubby we all love you dear and we just want you back in the field hunting and retrieving birds like a champion thanks guys for watching we'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.